my name is Benjamin. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing fine. I got another video review here from my fragrance collection. I want to thank all my subscribers, all those who have rated, watched my videos, left comments. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate that. Those who liked videos and those even who disliked it. You got your reasons. Fine. Anyway, so this day, I got one fragrance from this Italian powerhouse fragrance manufacturer. Okay, so you know which one I'm talking about. Cerruti. 1881 there you go let me just give you a quick presentation i got the full retail box for a very low cost uh it was very cheap when i picked this up so i, was, I managed to get this i've never heard of this company fragrance designer house from italy ever before i saw a couple of reviews i saw this on my online store where i usually get my fragrances from and i said okay this looks interesting i read the notes i saw the presentation uh checked out the reviews and it all looked good so i said okay fine with that rate i don't want to pass up on it and they had like about one or two in stock so i picked it up there you go 100 mil Cerruti, 1881 fine so there you go Wow, that is an amazing looking bottle. You got 1881 glazed. That's a glazed bottle. It's not really smooth. And etched over there, 1881. And right there in the corner, Cerruti, 1881. Okay, EDT, 100 mil. And same. You could actually see the juice right through. I like bottles like this. Even if it's glazed and not so transparent, you can still see the juice, you know. You get to know how much is always there, so that's the cap, it's, uh, it's plastic. Okay, so what is this juice all about? Fine. Let's to give a little uh, history about the company Cerruti. Uh, Cerruti opened up their first textile shop in the year 1881 in a little town in Italy. This is the information I got from uh, Fragrantica. And they launched a whole bunch of women's and men's fragrances after that. And this was launched in the year 1990, Suruti 1881. So a lot of the fragrances will be called after the year that they were formed. So to have that little connection with their history, with their background, with their beginnings, fine. So it's classified as a woody, aromatic, fresh, spicy fragrance. Okay, this is it, 100 ml Suruti. 1881 for men. There are a whole bunch of other flankers, but this is the only one that I could get. Top notes. Now, this has got a lot of stuff, a lot of extracts, and a lot of notes in this amazing blend. Lavender, carnation, bergamot, juniper, cypress, and something called ilemi resin. Never heard of that before. Okay. The, the mid notes are vetiver, rose, Cassia, Elang, Elang. I know it's spelled Y L, but it's pronounced Elang, Elang. Again, thanks a lot to other reviewers who were giving out the right pronunciation. Okay, now that's just the mid. Now coming down to the base notes, get a load of this musk, sandalwood, patchouli, oak moss, cedar, pepper, pine tree. That's a lot of stuff in this 100 ml bottle. Beautiful extracts of plants and herbs and fruits and, uh, oh yeah, an amazing composition for Ceruti 1881 for men. So when is this best suited? Exactly what I like it to be, spring and summertime. When is it best done? I mean, when can you best wear it? Day, night, guess what guys, it's versatile. It's listed as a versatile fragrance. You cannot go wrong with this. Daytime, nighttime. I would say that it's a very rich fragrance, not just because of the composition, but the amazing quality. I mean, the bottle is great. Amazing quality of the notes over there, the blend together, the composition, the rich. It's a heavy fragrance. It's very stylish. It's classic. 1990, think about that year. Think about what you were doing in 1990. <laughs> It's a manly, masculine fragrance. And the best part, it's so versatile, it can be done casual or for a formal setting. Why? This is great. Longevity on this? My goodness, I got seven to eight hours. And this is a regular EDT. Please, please, guys in the fragrance community, 
do not get caught up on longevity. All right, everybody's skin is going to be different. Everybody's condition environment is going to be different. And everybody's nose is going to be different too over there. So don't get caught up on longevity. This is after all an EDT and it's pretty cheap in the market. What I got it for you, I don't know what's going to be the going rate or the price in your country, in your location, whether you get it online, in a store, from eBay. But the price I paid, my goodness, 78 hours is more than what I expected. It's above and beyond my expectations. Age group for this, definitely 30, 35 and above. I don't think a 20 year old will be rocking this. This is definitely not a clubbing fragrance. You are not gonna be getting, <laughs> I guess you get a lot of compliments. Like I said, uh, uh, when I talk about performance, it's longevity, smell, projection, siage. I'm not really bothered about that. You know, my wife likes it on me and that's all that matters. So if you are single and you want ladies to compliment you, well, I guess this could work. I, I'm not an expert on that, so <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Fine. What do I get from this? I, I get the lavender. My goodness, I get the lavender, and I get a whole bunch of other bunch of stuff coming out from this bottle. I can't even describe in words the kind of notes that are coming out from you. Yes, there is rose, but I don't get much of the rose. I don't even know what cassia is. I don't even know what elang, elang smells like. But whatever it is, I get the musk. That's it. Don't ever depend on the top or the mid. Always work down to the base. Always wait till it dries down to the base over there. Musk, sandalwood, absolutely. I get the pepper. Uh, I know what a pine tree is, so I, get, I guess that's what my nose is picking up. But all I know that it's fresh, it is heavy, that it's not overbearing, and it's not offensive. But it's a rich fragrance. Oh my goodness. For the price I paid, yes, it's cheap, but it's not cheap quality. Cheap price, but amazing quality. Would I recommend this on the blind buy? I never recommend fragrances on the blind buy. I mean, you got your style, your preference, your taste, uh, your money, again, your body, your skin. So I would definitely recommend that you get a whiff of it. If this is not in your lineup, this is something you should consider. It's a great bottle. It'll be nice as a collector's addition to your collector's fragrance. And um, it's fresh, it's beautiful. Summertime, oh yeah, I like to use this during summertime. Now, you notice I haven't used much because the others I'm still using, but I've decided I want to start using this. I just don't want to keep it, you know, in the box and end up like a, like a collector and just give you a review and uh, put the bottle away and just forget about it. No, I'm going to start rocking this juice so we, uh, that's fine. Casual, formal, you're right. And I could put it on my clothes. I've used a little bit of it. Wow, I just sprayed it and... Oh, it's still on my skin. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it is. It is amazing. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful fragrance. Good. Well, definitely not a blind buy, but definitely that you want to consider buying uh, from this company. Everybody have a great day. Have a blessed day ahead of you. I got more videos coming out, pumping them as fast as I can. Like I said, I got the Zara videos and the Armaf videos coming out as soon as possible. So everybody have a great day ahead of you. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please subscribe, rate, comment, like, and uh, keep in touch. I got more videos. Right? Okay. Take care. Later, everyone.